Hey guys, it's Crystal from Pickens, and today we will be making the fall napkin illuminaries. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go through the materials that are needed for this craft. Okay, now that we know what materials were needed, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my mason jar. Um, it does not matter if it's a mason jar or a glass cup, as long as it's glass or super clear plastic to where you can get the illuminary effect. Um, and it also does not matter if it is smooth or if there's writing on it. Um, it's really up to you on what you want to use. Okay, so after my mason jar, I'm going to grab my napkin. So with the napkins, I chose to go with um, hedgehogs because I think they're super duper cute. So what you're going to do is, I already have mine cut, but I'm just going to show you. You're going to undo the napkins and then you're going to take the second layer away. You want it as clear as possible. So you're only going to have the first layer of the napkin and then you're going to fit it however you want it to go onto the mason jar. So I went ahead and cut mine um, so y'all don't have to watch me figure out how to cut this. So this is our napkin and I didn't take the second layer off this one. Wait one second. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our paintbrush and our Mod Podge. I'm just using regular Mod Podge. And the thing with this is you don't want to use too much of it, um, but you also don't want to use too little. So you just paint it right on there. My brush isn't very big. Um, you probably want to get a bigger brush, but this is what I had, so this is what I'm using. So we're just going to paint this on here. And just make sure that every piece of it is coated. And I'm going to do it up to the rim um, because I don't like how it looks when I put the napkin on the rim. So I'm not covering the rim today. We're almost there. Almost there. This does get a little bit messy, so if you're gonna do it with kids, just make sure that you have like paper or a napkin or something under it, because you will, as you can see, get glue on the table. And if you're anything like me, you'll get glue on your clothes. Okay, looks like everything is put on there. So then we're going to take our napkin and we are going to place it where we want it. And with this, just a heads up, there will be wrinkles. There is no way to get away from the wrinkles. In my opinion, it makes it um, have character. So like I don't really mind, but there will be wrinkles. So start with one side and make sure that it's on there pretty good and then go on to the next side and just keep going around. Don't try to stick it all on it at the same time or you'll have some issues. And I don't think I put mine on straight, but it's okay. It'll be fine. The thing with Mod Podge is it does dry pretty quickly. So 
That's another thing to keep in mind. And then mine overlaps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bend it so that it looks like the picture is continuing. And then after you get it on and you like how it looks, we're gonna go back over it and paint Mod Podge all over the jar um, and napkins. And it basically seals it in place. Uh, Mod Podge is glue, so if you do um, end up doing what I'm doing, make sure you put it under where the fold is, as well as on top to make sure that it does in fact stick. And when you're putting the glue or the Mod Podge on the napkins, it will end up um, drying clear unless you get like the opaque kind. Um, so it really does not matter if it cakes up a little bit. Um, you just want to make sure that it's even. All right, so now we're going to go back and we're going to roughly paint over it. And you can do as many layers as you want. I will probably only do one layer for this video, um, so you don't have to sit here and watch me paint constantly. Okay, so once we get um, the majority of the jar, painted with Mod Podge over the napkins. Now we're gonna focus on the bottom of the jar. As you can see, the napkin doesn't really go down to cover it, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So what we're gonna do first is go ahead and paint and make sure that the edges are flush with the jar. And this is the messy part, um, I found it or I find it easier to put the glue on the um, napkin in the jar and then taking my finger and making sure it's flush against it. And as you can see, while we're going around, there are wrinkles. Um, and if you do get a jar that has any writing on it, you will be able to see the writing through the napkin. Um, again, I think it adds a little bit of character to it, so I am i don't really mind it, um, but some people will want it completely smooth. Um, the smoother it is, the easier it is to not get the wrinkles, um, but you will always have a le at least a little bit of wrinkle because you're dealing with glue and paper. And when it dries, the paper doesn't like it, so. Okay, so we have it roughly on there. So what we're gonna do is um, take the bottom of the napkin that we peeled off at the very beginning, um, so the white piece, we are going to put it on the bottom. Um, you can do another, in this case, a hedgehog, hedgehog, hedgehog there we go. Um, but you don't have to, and since no one's really going to be seeing the bottom, I'm going to do the white. So we're just going to paint it on there, and we're going to take a white piece, and this will be okay to go over because then we're just going to turn around and bend it and make it flush against the bottom like because no one's going to see the bottom so it doesn't have to be perfect so we're just going to glue a little bit on top a little bit on this side and we're going to fold it over
Okay, after it's on, just make sure you go around the edges and make sure both sets are in fact glued together and they're smooth. Nothing is sticking up, um, nothing is dry, stuff like that. Okay, and I will let this dry for just a second and then we'll come back and I will show you the finished product. Okay, so now that it's dry, um, which it only took about 10 minutes and I put it right in front of a fan, um, but now that it's dry, this is our finished product. Um, it's not exactly great on the top because um, I didn't glue it straight and I didn't cut it straight. But what I'm going to do, um, you can either do ribbon or twine or anything like that, but I'm going to use one of the tops of the mason jar lids and I'm just going to screw it on for now. Um, and then once I get some um, ribbon or twine or something um i'll put it around so you can't see like the messed up areas um but yeah so this is our finished product once it dries you will if you did what i did you may find areas where you're gonna have to go back over with mod podge like right here there's a little bubble and it's not sticking very well um but that's it and then once it's dried completely you're going to take your tea light. Um, you can do an actual candle if you want. This is just easier in a library setting to do one that's not at an actual flame. So we're just going to turn it on real quick and then we're going to put it into the jar. My hand's a little too big for this. It went upside down. Hang on. Okay, so then you can't really tell it. Let me go turn off the light. Give me one second. Okay, so with the light off, this is what it looks like. Minus that part. That, that'll be the back. So this is what it looks like. I also did one that is a small one, so you can see the difference. Um, it doesn't matter what size mason jar you do. But yeah, that is the end product. Okay, so now that we saw it with the light off, um, this is the big jar. And then this one is the little jar. This one did have um, like the diamond um, pattern on the jar and it ended up doing really well. Like you can't see the diamonds at all. So it did really well. Um, but yeah, so pick whatever napkins you want and you can put it on the jar. Um, you can do it for Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day. This is, I did fall because Thanksgiving is coming up and these are really, really cute. So you can decorate your little table. Um, but yeah, anything you want, birthdays, you can also personalize them and monogram them and stuff like that. So I want you to like and comment. Um, if you do do this, please, 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 please post a picture. I would absolutely love to see all of your fall napkins. Um, they turn out so cute, so I would love to see yours. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, you can comment directly on to this video, or you can also tag Pickens County Library, and I'll come to me, and I can see it for sure. Um, I will answer as I can. You may have a question that I don't know, but if I don't know, I will make sure to find out. Um, again, so like, comment, and make sure you share it. That would be awesome. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see what y'all make. Bye, guys.